Mannheim has been keeping track of wholesale used car values dad for 27 years. And for the first time ever, we had nearly a 15% decline in wholesale used car prices year over year, as they put it, historic. That has never happened before. Now, in the same breath, we have to keep in mind that quote, while that decline was the largest in the series history, compare that drop to the overall 88% increase <laughs> in the 21 months from April 2020 to January 2022. Dad, we have seen wholesale used car prices and retail used car prices start to normalize. Yes. And maybe the wholesale bubble has burst a little bit. We still have a long way to go, don't we? Uh, well, if, if just using basic math here, if the values increased 88% at one point in time um, prior to the 15% decline, that means overall they're still up 73%. Now, we have seen... Um, the good news of that is that we we are seeing and have seen wholesale values decline. Um, we haven't seen retail values decline as much as the wholesale values have, but at least they're moving in the right direction. Doesn't mean that both on the wholesale and the retail level that they both aren't still overvalued because they are. Now, if you look at different data providers, you get slightly different stories, but directionally all yes. the same. So for example, BlackBook, we track their weekly updates. They told us that last year, the market finished down 22.9%. Again, if we look at the Mannheim data, yes. they say 14.9%. Either way, uh, pro wholesale prices are down. Cars down 22.7%, trucks down 23%. Full-size vans were the only segment to see continued appreciation last year, up 3.2%. After increasing 42.7% in 2021. So, even dead for the vehicles like cars, for example, yes. that are down 22.9%, the big, uh, or excuse me, cars that were down 22.7%, a, a big uh, 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 push downward on uh, car prices, that still doesn't um, account for the fact that last year, or still doesn't fully account for the fact that last year and two years ago, Black Book showed us that wholesale used car prices for cars were up 50, 52% at best here. <clears throat> we're like a third to maybe halfway there. Deal School 3.0 pops, we're so excited, what do you get? The quick and easy way to learn everything you need to know about buying a car today. Go to joinyaa.com slash deal school today. We're getting there. And 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 when you said that, it reminded me of, of uh, Leonard Bernstein. Good and, old Leonard. And, and his great uh, musical, uh, West Side Story. Yep. Uh, because there, there's some lyrics in West Side Story, and, and I think we're on to something here. And um, it was, hold my hand, and I'll take you there. Hold my hand, we're halfway there. And, and yeah, so Leonard Bernstein couldn't have written it better. We are halfway, almost halfway. Uh, to if you getting, look at the Black Book yeah, data. Yes, to getting somewhere back to what would be historical norms. Now, will we ever get back to pre-COVID price levels, both on the wholesale and retail levels? I think not. Yep. But the fact that the values of both are moving downward is a good sign. Not a great sign, but a good sign. Now, another factor that will implicate both wholesale used car prices and for us, but we all care about retail used car prices is how quickly is inventory inventory turning on yes. dealers lots right now. And dad, we have <laughs> used retail sales data from December showing a month over month decline. So 7% decline in retail used vehicle sales month over month and year over year down 10%. Days supply pretty much unchanged. Yes. Around 50 days supply of used cars out there on the market. We know, Dad, that used car inventory is what it was pre-pandemic. And the reason prices went up so high was because the new car inventory was so far off from what it had been pre-pandemic. New car inventory continues to improve yes. month over month, which ultimately should continue to put pressure on used car wholesale and retail prices to normalize even more. Most of your, most of your data providers, such as Mannheim, and Black Book yep. are both anticipating that the downward pressure on used car values will continue at uh, probably near historic rates through 2023 because there's just so many factors that point in that direction. A shrinking market, uh, rising interest rates, uh, less affordability, so uh, harder to get uh, auto loans. Yep. So all these all these are pressures, pressure points that will force wholesale and retail values to continue to decline throughout 2023. Um, you know, there's nothing right now that suggests that 
the Fed's going to ease interest yeah. rates. Banks are going to ease interest rates. Um, and we do see new car inventories starting to build again, not to the levels that they had been. Um, you know, it used to be in, in pre-COVID days, um, 3 million to 3.4 million vehicles available on a monthly basis. We suspect that that number will rise to two moving forward. It will be 2 million to 2.4 million still below where we had been but it's significantly higher yeah. than than what the previous 12 months had been and if we can that let's pull the chart up on the screen the retail yes. listings weekly price index for two to six year old used cars look at the purple line purple line is uh, also what they're building here in I, I was going to say i could look but at the, the purple line, right up there the purple yeah. line yes is up 35 percent for 2021 okay yes. so in 2021 from the beginning of the year to the end of the year Retail listing prices, so on, on CarEdge.com when you search for a car, on JoinWire.com when you search for a car, on CarGurus when you search for a car, those prices in 2021, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, were up 35%. Yes. We ended 2022, just a couple weeks ago, with retail listing prices down about 9%, yes. 8.5 to 9%. So the actual advertised prices were down 8.5 to 9%. We're being optimistic with the idea that we're halfway there, folks. There is more to go, significantly more. And so as yes. we track this week over week, we'll be able to see, do the advertised prices match up with what we would expect to be continued pressures downward? And to be very clear, you can still negotiate. Like negotiating is not reflected in these uh, listings prices, mm -hmm. far from it. But we've seen plenty of folks negotiate below asking price. And quite frankly, we've seen a lot of dealers be really stubborn trying to get more money than they actually should, than what a vehicle's worth yes. uh, with their with their used inventory. Yeah, because they don't want to have to eat the loss, but at a certain point, they're going to have to eat the loss. They're absolutely going to have to eat yes. the loss. It, it seems inevitable that prices will continue to normalize and go down. Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, we, we already spoke about all the factors that are leading to that, and there's nothing to indicate that that's going to change. So we've got the headline, Mannheim Price Index posts the largest year-over-year -year decline in history, grain of salt. Yeah. We still have a long way to go, and it doesn't necessarily mean that used car prices will get all the way back to where they need to go. There's going to be a new normal, and it will mm -hmm. not be pre-COVID levels, but there's still more more price price fall uh, price pressures that will drive prices down. They will they will be more reflective of what normal had been than what we have seen over the past two years.